Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kurosama here, and welcome to season five of my channel. This is 2020, and I have a lot of things I would like to try and update on this channel, and just, you know, express to you guys. I'm gonna come a little bit slowly here and there, but just bear with me. Now, the first kit I am reviewing of 2020 is going to be the figure I standard Asuna from Sword Art Online. Now, to my knowledge, this is the season one Asuna, not like the, you know, Battle of Bullets or, or you know, Excalibur and all those other crazy seasons or the elf one this is the first one and this is when she joined that clan and honestly you know I can easily cheat and go look it up and be super well informed on this uh, video but instead I'm gonna go ahead and just show my ignorance and have no idea what the clan was called but I know she joined and she kind of pressured Kirito to join so on and so forth and yeah this is this is her. I don't have a, I don't have any figures of Sora Online at all. The figmas are generally like super expensive, and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up because I don't really mind the aesthetics of this character. Don't really care too much for the show. The show's okay, but I thought the character herself is actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look. But first, we're gonna have a word from our sponsor. Now you can grab this kit and many others over at NewTypeHQ.com and use that promo code KROSAMA so that way you can get 10% off. So let's get on to the review. Now my first initial thoughts on this kit was, hey, this thing is going to revolutionize Figure Eye Standard as we know of it. But that does not seem the case. Now we're taking a look at the details, the first thing I'm going to mention, just to kind of support my argument that this thing doesn't really change much of the figure I standard line, is that yes, it does come with a water slide decal sheet and it comes with a sticker sheet, both identical, but they just are really bad. Uh, most of them, the way they, they kind of go on the surfaces are really just not good because the excess of the water slide is just going to be protruding and it's just not going to look good. But, I mean, the perk about all this is that a lot of these parts are going to be raised, so, or, you know, elevated, so a lot of the part on the, the chest right there, uh, you got parts on the neck, you got parts right here on the front. Uh, I painted all this very poorly, mind you, and, you know, if you want to go ahead and, and call me out in the comments, please do so, because I know I did a poor job on the lining, that I just, I started painting this thing, and I was like, you know what, why am I painting this when I have no investment in this, you know, girl this character whatsoever it's not something i really enjoyed as a kid or i guess as a as a, a young adult whatever you want to say but yeah i just painted the trimming because you you know these are actually supposed to all be water slides all these little red trimmings painted that paint the neck collar this whole front piece is supposed to be white i just left it i just left it silver it looks fine silver to be honest but if you want you're gonna have to paint that white and just leave like the crosses all silver um, but yeah, I'm not gonna go through every single thing, but whatever you're seeing that's like red highlights, all that should have been uh, water slides. Now the only thing I did use as water slides was this little white trim right here. There's no nothing elevated, so that's unfortunate. You're gonna either have to freehand it or, you know, obviously mask it off and then, you know, paint a white line, or you're going to have to, um, yeah, use the water slide. Now the eyes is also another, you know, water slides I use for both uh, this face and the other two faces. And that's pretty much it. I felt like I really didn't need to use water slides for anything else. And I just painted a majority of what I could. The rest I just, you know, left as is. But overall, the details are nice. Some parts that uh, are supposed to be there, such as like little miniature crosses right here on the skirt part, that's not supposed, you know, that's supposed to be there, but it's not. So you're supposed to rely on the water slide or the sticker, or you can freehand it. But I decided to do none of that and just leave it blank. Um, but other than that, I mean... It's fine, just with the red trimming, um, I think it looks good. I think the overall aesthetics are fine, but the major problem you're gonna come with is going to be in the articulation department, which we will see. Now going into the articulation department, uh, basically going to be on a ball joint for the head, but with the hair, you're not getting too much movement. This ponytail is going to be on a ball joint, so you can move it all the way around. This side here is gonna be on little ball joints, and then this one is going to be on a hinge. Now the base of the neck right inside there, that can actually move back and forth. Shoulder's gonna be on ball joints. Hinge right here at the shoulder. Now this piece of the hair falls off every chance it gets, so just be careful with that. Rotation of the bicep. One point of articulation right here at the elbow for a 90 degree angle. Ball joint at the wrist. Now this piece right here is gonna be loose, it just kinda like sits in between, so yeah, that sucks. This little back piece right here can move back and forth. Now this whole chest mechanism is pretty weird. You can pretty much bring this all the way forward and kind of like lift it up. So you, you can have like this huge gap right in between. 
and it looks horrendous, but if you want like ab crunches, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. And you can pretty much move back and forth. This sheath is gonna be on a ball joint. The skirt part's gonna be on a ball joint. Same with the front part, same with here, same with here, and same with this. And underneath here where the pantsu is, you gotta be careful because you're gonna rip that off. So you gotta kinda like shimmy it down. But this is going to be on a, uh, a ball joint and peg system. So you, the peg system can rotate it down. You're gonna have the ball joint right here at the hip. So get some good movement. And then if you wanna like rotate it a little bit right here, you can go ahead and go back and forth. Not really much of a forward kick. Hardly any back kick. Only one part of articulation for the knee. And you're gonna have a two peg system right here so you can get some joints right here and then the foot itself is gonna be on a ball joint. Now in terms of articulation, it's, ooh, it's a little lackluster, but let's go ahead and move on to the accessories. Now in terms of hands, you're gonna get two open expressive hands, two gripping hands for the sword, and this downward angle position hand so that way she can actually wield her sword and just kinda of lean it forward a little bit. And for faces, you're gonna get this like neutral, like normal smiling face. A pouting face, which I kind of blushed up a little bit, uh, and this is definitely the face my wife always gives me. It's not like I married you because I like you. Ba baka. And lastly, this battle cry face. Now for this sword, all this silver and everything, I, I paint myself. It's all going to be just standard red and then that kind of like weird teal looking color. But this, the sword is actually not in here. This, if I can pull it out is just a hilt that has a little peg system that plugs right in then the actual sword is going to be a separate piece now something i didn't notice until just now is that i didn't have this uh this little guard this like hand guard on it the entire time i was doing this uh review so up until now i do apologize but yeah this is going to be one separate piece so you're going to have the silver and then these are going to be two uh separate pieces that just connect i just went ahead and painted that trim silver and you're supposed to paint this blue but i just said i screw it you know you're not really going to see that in the hand now once you have her in a more like expressive kind of look, she's gonna look really good. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty excited to put her on the shelf because I, I like these like anime girl figures. They're really cool, but um, you know, obviously when you're you know trying to mess with it, it's a little bit frustrating because the ones like this, it, they just don't wanna cooperate and the hair is not gonna be posable. If they made like the front bangs on ball joints in some kind of way, oh, that would've made my life so much better when it came to posing, but you really can't do much and then the legs are fairly limited as well like you could do some neat stuff uh, just because you can twist and turn but for the most part it's still going to be a challenge to get into some super dynamic poses but once again you are you know messing with something that is a like humanoid figure not something that's like a robot that can do a little bit more craziness so with this yeah you really don't want to go super dynamic but I wanted something a little bit better than what we we're actually presented and this kit is going to come with a stand. Now at 30 bucks, this thing better come with a stand because it's a lot of money for what I consider not much. You get a couple of hands, you get a couple of faces, you get a sword, and that's really it. And it's not significantly huge, which we will go into with comparisons. And the connector piece connects right there on the back without any issues, but it does cause a little bit of friction, obviously. So if you are gonna paint this kit or even top coat it, just be wary that it could actually scratch it off. So maybe put a couple of coats and it should be fine. And here she is right next to the figure I standard, Ayame. Now, what I will say for Asuna, this is the pros of like this model kit, what I think it's doing better. It's doing better with some of the engineering. Now, the torso has a really good kind of, I don't wanna say mechanism, but the way that they actually format the, um, the, you know, the joints, I think it's actually much better than the Ayame but it doesn't really do that well because there's a huge gap whenever you're starting to do ab crunches and it looks really bad. Um, the legs are pretty much the same when it comes to their, you know, the functionality. But the problem is uh, Asuna has a giant skirt and it doesn't really move much. So the limitations are gonna be pretty heavy. But, um, you know, I would just say the overall slimness and the more anime accuracy of, of Asuna is a lot better than it, was, than it is with Ayame, but 
they are drawn differently and probably a, a Yame is like, you know, pretty, pretty show accurate. I'm not sure. But I think Asuna is actually pretty spot on and if you're just looking for it to be static, I think it's fine. Okay, so for my final thoughts on this kit, really, it's, it's not horrible. I don't want to paint that picture. It's just, there's a lot of work that needs to get put into this to even make it halfway decent. Um, there's still a lot of missing color applications on here, such as the, you know, the chest plate, uh, the ankle guards, you know, uh, the, like a couple of little small bits here and there, uh, a couple parts in the back I didn't even bother with because it's pretty much covered by hair. But, you know, even with the color corrections that I did not, you know, go ahead and do, I think it looks really good. In fact, I think it looks better with the silver armor, like I mentioned earlier. The only big issue is like, you know, if you do want to color correct it with the stickers or the water slides, it's not going to look that great, to be honest. If you do want to do it with, you know, hand paints or airbrush, whatever you want to do uh, like that, hopefully you have the skill to do so, because if you don't have the skill, it might come out as messy as mine, um, because I just didn't have the steady hand, and I really just kind of gave up halfway through. <laughs> I just really didn't care anymore, but... Regardless, I think even with all those um, you know color applications that aren't there, it still has a great presentation. Another problem is that it is not going to have the best of possibility, but what you do get, you can actually make it work. Such as like what I'm doing right now, I think this is fine. This is a fine pose. Um, I try to get it in a more dynamic, like um, like slashing or even like you know dashing and then trying to thrust uh, her rapier, but. You know, I, I really couldn't get it to a appropriate one because the head is just not going to turn much. Those bangs are going to completely get in the way. So if you really want to turn that head, you're going to have to modify the hair somehow. Um, otherwise, I, th I think you're going to be okay with the poses. Um, whatever you're trying to get, you're probably going to get a halfway decent attempt of that pose. So if, you know, if you're, if you're trying to have her all cutesy and all that, you're probably going to get that. But if it's action-wise you're gonna run into a little bit of trouble but otherwise it's fine it's it's okay you know posability wise and aside from all that with the price point of 3,000 yen you know I want to say it's completely worth it but uh, I'm gonna say this if you really don't have if you don't have any asana in your collection like you don't have a statue you don't have a figma or anything um, and you're just like man I really would love to have an asana that's readily available and fairly cheap and I can actually pose it decently, then this is the one you're going to want to get. But if you already have the Figma, just stick with that. This is not necessary. Or I guess if you are the kind of person that wants to do some customization and painting, sure, you can go ahead and get this one. But I would just honestly recommend you get, you know, maybe turning to something else. But with a 3000 price point and you get a stand and a couple of faces, that's not a horrible price tag. So maybe if you do want to get this, check out NewTypeHQ.com. They should have these in stock fairly soon uh, since they, you know, she's come out, what, a week, week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, but, uh, you know, it's up to you guys. I'm not going to go ahead and just, you know, say, hey, this is the best kit ever. I'm going to say it's a good kit if you do like uh, Sword Art Online and you don't mind painting models or you don't mind building models, for, you know, for instance, uh, and then painting a little bit on top of that. Um, then this is definitely going to be something you want to get. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm pretty content. I don't think I really wasted my money because getting the Figma at a decent price is damn near impossible. And that's pretty much it for my final thoughts. Now, I do want to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on this kit? Do you think this is something that you really like? Is this something that you are probably going to buy? Uh, if so, let me know in the comment section below. And also, I want to start doing something to where uh, I you know, have you guys ask me questions, and I feature, feature those questions, and I answer them on my videos. So with, uh, you know, maybe in the comment section below under my pinned comment you can go ahead and ask me any question you want and i will answer them on the next video so stay tuned for that and i really encourage you know y'all to uh, ask any questions you want and i can go ahead and answer them but hey that's pretty much it for me guys thank you all for watching and i'll be sure to you know come back with another solid review solid unboxing for you guys but that's it for me i'll be seeing y'all later bye bye and i'd like to give a quick shout out to all my members of the channel Honestly guys, without your help, things would be so much harder to actually produce content on this channel. So thank you so much for supporting me and I'm just extremely grateful, but thank you very much.